Hi and welcome to this quick tool review. This time around we'll be looking at a DRO donated to me by Banggood for evaluation and they sell a two axis and a three axis model and they actually let me choose which one I wanted. I don't need a DRO at all but I thought that these items being so incredibly expensive in the mainstream that uh, perhaps evaluating one of these myself uh, would be good for the community at large. Now, I personally do not have name brand DROs. Uh, Acra uses Sino DROs, and the manuals that come with them are barely understandable. Um, this brand uh, from Banggood, which is, I guess Jing Si, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, is very similar to the Sino in most ways. Um, it has all the same features. However, uh, I'll give them one big plus. The manual, although very simple and plain looking, is a lot more re readable than the Sinos that I have. Um, it still has some translation errors, Chinese, but uh, uh, very understandable. Uh, you buy the head separately from the scales and the scales come in a variety of sizes like you can see here and the price of the scale depends on the size the uh the three axis dro was uh i think this is the three axis was 84.39 from china it's actually cheaper if you buy it from the usa uh, uh distribution center uh, although they only have the three axis in the USA at least when I looked last time they did and they didn't have any of the scales so you had to get those from China the scales are a whole variety of sizes and the scales are all at the same resolution so uh, uh, they it does metric and standard uh, the scales are one micron resolution I only got them I only got one scale sent to me 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter scale 5 micron resolution for this particular scale and uh, we're going to put it together and just test out its accuracy. All the features work just like every other DRO, especially the Sinos. Um, you have a calculator built in. You can set multiple uh, reference zero points so that you can build off of a new point that's not your original zeros. Uh, it does bolt circles, of course. It'll do radius cutting if you want to uh, use a mill and cut a radius. It'll do that. Um, all those features uh, would take way too much time to go into for a tool review, but the thing that uh, I try to provide with my quick tool reviews is does it do the job, the most important functions, does it perform those well? And so in this case, is it accurate? And that's really, uh, I guess, dependent on the scales. Now, they say, uh, lots of manufacturers out there for scales, they say don't use other manufacturers' scales, that their scales are designed to work specifically with their DROs, so they don't recommend doing that. I bet you could get away with it, but uh, let's take their word on it for right now. Um, the main DRO unit is incredibly light. It has a mounting bracket that's uh, metal mounted to an all plastic case. It came with a 220 plug, but since this is a standard plug, easy enough to get a 110 version of that. You've got tons of those lying around. Um, D9 connectors for each of the uh, axes. Uh, this is the two axis version, so it only has two. There's the punch out spot for the third, and it looks like they even planned up to four. Um, it's incredibly light. And uh, they've got a mounting bracket and all the tooling to uh, put this on an arm uh, attached to your mill or lathe or uh, uh, whatever other device you want to put a DRO on. For the price of this guy, um, considering that other manufacturers' DROs are anywhere between $1,500 and 2000 for the same thing, um, I'd say it's a pretty good deal, at least from the cost point on the outset. Let's just see if it's got the accuracy to go with it, because if it's not accurate, it's kind of a useless tool, right? Because that's the whole point of it is to get rid of your other, uh, other measures like dial indicators. So let's uh, see if we can set this up in a way to test it. Now before we head over, I always have one more thing, don't I? Um, I noticed that uh, when I was uh, just trying to assemble this to see how it all go together, the uh, the punch outs on the ends here are still inside and uh, unless you pop one of these plastic caps off which uh, may not survive being removed uh, they're going to stay in there uh, the hardware kit a lot of the hardware was sitting in the bottom of the box uh, tore out of the bag on shipping but to be honest i could live with uh, issues with issues like that 
if the DRO itself works because ultimately this is so much cheaper than a name brand uh, DRO that uh, could be worth it uh, very easily. Uh, this guy just holds this uh, swivel right here. And so this is the arm for swiveling. The other end of that is right here. And uh, you just mount those two pieces, mount this to your mill or lathe or again, whatever device you're gonna work on. And that's good to go. Uh, the mounting brackets for this, it came with a set of small screws here and washers. Uh, the alignment of the glass scale inside is actually done by the bracket itself because they, they sent it shipped with a uh, couple tie wraps holding it so it doesn't move around and break the glass scale, I assume, or scratch it. But uh, you could easily mount this at an angle and have it rub. So you're going to need to mount the brackets so that they're centered so that this thing slides smoothly. I did get a small one uh, because, again, I didn't know what I was going to use it for and the scales aren't terribly expensive. Interestingly enough, you will spend more for the scales than you will for the indicator. The scales are anything from like 40, I think, to a little like 150. So not insane, still going to save a huge amount of money. Let's see if I can find a way to uh, get this to test it out. Alrighty, so let's go check out the setup. I got the DRO sitting on the table over here. I've taken the glass scale and mounted it to a piece of aluminum and put it on parallels in the Kurt vise. Then I made a, I took the mounting bracket that came with the scale uh, that goes on the sliding part and I mounted to it. I don't know if you can really see here, but there is a one inch slug uh, that has got a flattened off section that I've screwed this to mounted in a one inch end mill holder. And here, is a uh, spindle stop and uh, you tighten this allen down it clamps on the spindle and it locks into the uh, little arm extension that sticks off the side of the mill so there is a tiny amount of play uh, when i bend this but before if i move it pretty hard a uh, few you can get a couple thousands play so it's not a perfect setup but uh, but as close as i could make it um, there's an extra digit on here. So this is uh, tenths of an inch, hundredths of an inch, thousandths of an inch, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths of an inch. Um, I didn't find any place in the manual to turn off the hundred thousandth of an inch portion of it. Uh, that seems ridiculous. All right, so we're going to set a zero on my DRO on the mill. And we're going to set a zero down here. And uh, now we are going to move over half an inch. Oops. And pretty close. We're varying by two tenths there. And let's go over another inch. Also, when I over when I come back like that, I'm I'm changing the loading on the scale, so that may affect it as well. Let's just count up here. Approach slowly. There's one, and we're off by four tenths there. And let's go to an inch and a half. And I came back on that one, and we are off by two tenths. And let's see if we can make two inches. We should be able to, because this scale should be just a little bit longer than two inches. There we are. There's two inches, and there's four tenths difference. Now let's return to zero. And 1.9 tenths or two tenths difference. Pretty darn good if you ask me. There's enough slop in the fixturing here to make up for those couple tenths because here I'll just tap on this and you can see right there that's your couple tenths not rigid enough to pick that up pretty darn good I'd say accuracy is right where we'd want it to be so in case you were skeptical of my DRO I've got a uh, rather large dial gauge here hopefully it'll be easily readable let's see can we just get that better all right so, in case you were not trusting my DRO, here is this DRO. We are going to zero it. 
And we got a dial gauge, dial indicator, and we're going to set this guy to zero. A little touchy. And let's move over 50 thousandths. And 50 thousandths. Let's move over another 50 thousandths, making it 100 thousandths. And there we are, half a six tenths uh, difference, but uh, could be off. And here is 150. Oh, I'm sorry, 200. And there we are at 200 with a tenth, uh, with almost 201. So maybe off by a thousandths. It's pretty darn good. So again, not an incredible amount of rigidity in this setup here. Plus, if this is not going perpendicular, if it's going at a slight angle to this scale, then it's going to be reading off a little bit. And I think that's where our error is because I set this up by eye, but that doesn't make it perfectly perpendicular because if it's going at an angle, that means uh, you've got an X and Y component motion for the indicator arm when this is only moving in the X and the X axis. So that's probably the difference right there. All in all, I'd say this thing is pretty darn good and an excellent bargain for the money. Um, one thing that I can't test here easily is longevity. So how long are these scales going to last? How long is uh, the DRO itself going to last? It's very readable. It's a very bright display, brighter than mine. The Sino up there, which you can see. One more thing before I go. As always, I have one more thing to say. Um, this DRO system, I don't actually have a use for it right now. So uh, rather than just stick it on the shelf, I'd like to give it to some worthy viewer who's just starting out and uh, is in really in need of a DRO. You'll have to purchase some scales unless a 50 millimeter scale is good enough for you. And uh, I'm happy to do it. So I will pick a random number and the person that has the request the, in the comments below of that number, I will send it to that person. Uh, I'm just going to pick a random number and go with that. And always, thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. Hope to see you next time, and hope you can use the DRO.